Hi programmers, we're continuing on. I'm going to finish the print portion of our program. Now of our print program. Now this here is a control break program. I did change the header to have the time display on the right hand of it, okay? Now um we've already did that you can see the only paragraph or the only function we're going to work in is this print extract report and we've already got some of this done and um, we already did the header and we did these uh, converting those weeks to dates last time and um, so we've already know how to print on a header so now we do our database read um, with our connection we open the database and here is our SQL command so that you can read it. Uh, we're doing two. We're doing SEGS and PRE so you'll notice at the bottom the uh, P, those records have to match and then we order it by PRE ID, by week, and by enter date. And then we have our control break variables and if you guys don't know how to do that. I don't know if they teach this stuff anymore. Um, you have to save the one the things that you want to break by. You have to save those in the previous field. And you'll notice I have this first time flag. Usually you'll have a flag. It's first time. And if it's the first time, you set the first record to those fields and they get you going. Okay. And then we have accumulators, just flex of regular hours, and then vacation sick, personal holiday. And then we have our total accumulators. And this IX is our page counter, or our line counter. And we do our read. And uh, we check for the first time. And if it is the first time, we move that first record into our previous fields. And then this here, we're checking if the week has changed. And if it does, then we're going to send out the, the person's record. Uh, OK? And um, because we, we've already calculated their their time or their in records and their out records, so then we have to decide, you know, which ones really are hours, sick, holiday, vacation, and personal. And we check and see if there's any overtime. Okay, now that's for, for um, the week change. And then if we have an employee change, now basically all the week change does is just see if there's if the person has any holiday uh, not holiday overtime hours it doesn't print anything out it's when the employee changes that we print it out and you can do this for multiple weeks as many weeks as you want so when the employee changes um we you know we've decided where i work that regular time is equal to this holidays plus vacation sick personal and um total so we send out the record of all the stuff we've accumulated if the employee changes that we've saved up. We check the line counter and if it's um, uh, greater than 50 we set that line counter back to zero and we set the header back to whatever it was and um, and we print it out. Now this we actually set it this text box print to the text to print and we set the text to print to header <laughs> and, um, and then we send it to the print routine the printer and this common stuff is an extract file we'll do that next time maybe and then we've set our previous records again after we've changed employees and then we start accumulating again accumulate the report totals and then we zero out our previous accumulators okay now we're counting up uh, the time again with this uh, case where you've got whether it's in or whether it's out and then we've got a case that's inside of there um, well it's a switch statement we've got two of them and then from there you decide whether it's holiday vacation personal or whatever those fields are and you do the out time Alrighty. Okay, so we finished printing and we finished accumulating and we finished that little if statement. So now we're back to the bottom of it. So we have to force out that last record that we just read because it won't go out on, on his own. So we've accumulated that time again. We've decided if there's any overtime for him. And then we force that record out. And we've also forced out the extract record, but we'll worry about that later. And then we've accumulated our report totals for the last line.
and we force out well we don't we don't have to force that out because we're supposed to do that but you wouldn't a lot of people don't expect that to force out the last report line but you do and then we send it to the printer okay now let's see if this works it should work as I've already uh, done this once today but then it was too long and so I decided oh since I have to do an AV AF file. Now the data I have got is the current week is 553, but the data I've got in here is 498 and 499. And we're gonna say print. And I'm safe. Yes. Okay, you can see we've got our date, we've got our time that we added today. We see we've got different weeks than the current week and they've got dates that associate with that, okay? And then we've got our four employees that I keyed in time for and we've got a total line. So anyway, um, I'm going to go back and I, I hope that I was slow enough so that you could see all the code and type it. But um, even if it didn't, maybe, you know, we've got it figured out. And so that's going to be all for... Um, for this one, alrighty.